Hello, it's Scott Manley here, and today I want to look at something very important from my youth. This ancient book, which is a guide to spacecraft from the 21st century, obviously published uh, in 1978. What it really is, is an art book. It collects art from the covers of science fiction books by various artists, some of whom you might have heard of it. Jim's, Jim Burns, Peter Elson, Chris Foss, uh, Bob Lazell, Chris Moore. Um, you know, these are all, if you read science fiction in the 1970s, you probably had a book with one of these on the cover. Chris Foss is actually still going strong. He did a lot of the production design for Guardians of the Galaxy, if I understand correctly. He also designed the Nostromo in uh, the original Alien. Um, but yeah, these spacecraft, you know, they're big, colourful. They Look at that for the colour there. This is something that very much... Uh, influenced the look of Homeworld and I believe in the credits of Homeworld they actually mention a couple of these artists. This one here I know is is by Bob Lazell. It was originally on the cover of a Perry Roden book but of course the creator of this compilation has written a whole history of it explaining that it's one of the best remembered ship du uh, during the, the war. This is of course the war between Proxima Centauri and Alpha Centauri and down here it talks about Major Sven Eriksson and Defence Force Commander earned himself and his cutlass a place in the history tapes during the Battle of Mars. The illustrations here depict his best known exploit. His fueling bay was hit by a Proxima warhead and he launched under maximum drive before refueling was completed. Wow! Awesome, right? So he's like super amazing and badass and everything like that. Yeah, so the, the author actually tried to create a whole history for this universe and you can see that as I said, it was published in 1970, so he was free to use the 80s and the 90s and the noughties as the future. But, uh, of course, reality has since rendered this a bit redundant. For example, this year we're expecting the Martian Queen to make its first commercial passenger flight to Mars. Who cares about the next generation iPhone or iWatch when we can get a uh, fly to Mars? Let me, let me see if I can find the Martian Queen. I think it's towards the back of the book, and which deals with commercial stuff. Yes. There we go, the Martian Queen, built by Avery Astronautics and licensed by Transgalactic Space Lines. It has Avery Meteor directional thrust engines and you know, all this cool stuff that you would expect to see in, if you're like a backer of Star Citizen. Look at this design, this is stunning. Now, this was one of four books that were released around the time. I think the this is the first one. There was Great Space Battles, Space Wrecks and Starliners. And, you know, they were kind of popular among sci-fi nerds of the era, especially since they just collected this great art. Unfortunately, the quality of the paper was not so good. Uh, oh, this is a one that I've actually heard about recently. So the Turner Prize is a prize for the best young artists in Britain. You know, it's all kind of modern art and everything. And this one was essentially repainted by one of the finalists. They, he repainted it in a two meter by three meter canvas. I, I think it was you know different aspect ratio and everything, but you know, definite uh, plagiarism going on there. This is these are supposed to be unknown objects around the universe. This is some wreck that's found. They're, they're basically say, telling you, we don't know where it came from, but it's radioactive. You also get some great line drawings here towards the back as well. So it really is, you know, quite beautiful very it was a huge inspiration to my uh, love of spaceships I would spend a lot of time drawing spaceships when I was a kid and as I said if, if uh, you know, homeworld was very much influenced by this and uh, let's see and there's a bunch of other stuff now in 2005 they started republishing these they obviously updated the history a little but uh, they were not well received and the they only published the first one they replaced some of the pictures with computer graphics versions instead and it didn't quite sit so well with the fans and I guess they may have abandoned plans to do any further uh, production. And somebody else has also created a role-playing game set in the, this universe, a paper and pen RPG. So yeah, this is something really important to me and uh, you should check it out. The only place to get it unfortunately is second hand. So take a look for it. Uh, I'm Scott Manley, fly safe.